Hi, I'm Patricia Clarkson. I'll be reading a story called Marmaduke's Christmas Wish. The story is about a little boy named Marmaduke who writes a letter to Santa asking for three wishes. Marmaduke's Christmas Wish, read by Patricia Clarkson. Once upon a time, on a small farm in Africa, lived a little boy named Marmaduke who had three wishes. It all began just before the Christmas holiday, on the last day of school. Marmaduke's class had a visitor from Ireland. Her name was Miss Brennan. Miss Brennan had some Christmas cards and she gave one to each child. Suddenly, Marmaduke gasped. His eyes lit up. What's the matter? asked Miss Brennan. He... He looks funny with no legs, Mamadou giggled and showed her his card. Miss Brennan chuckled loudly. That's a snowman, she said. A snowman is made from the ice flakes that fall from the sky in winter. A snowman? Winter? he said. Ice flakes from the sky? How is that possible? Marmaduke had never made a snowman, and he couldn't imagine ice falling from the sky in Africa. They didn't have winter in Africa. It was always sunny and warm. We have winter in Ireland, said Miss Brennan, especially at Christmas. We make snowmen and dress them up with a scarf and a hat. Sometimes we make snowballs and throw them at each other. Mamadou imagined snow falling from the sky. He would love to make a snowman and throw snowballs too. He was thrilled and wanted to know more about Christmas in Ireland. What else do you do? asked Mamadou. Well, we share Christmas cards. We also decorate a Christmas tree and put all the presents under it. A Christmas tree, said Mamadou. Mamadou had never decorated a real Christmas tree. And as for presents, he only wanted one thing, to help his parents on their farm. And his favourite jollof rice on Christmas Day, of course. Mamadou saw a man in a red suit on the card. Who's he? he asked. That's Santa Claus, Father Christmas, said Miss Brennan. Santa brings presents for all the good children at Christmas. Father Christmas, he said, can he come to Africa? Yes, write to him and tell him your wish for Christmas, said Miss Brennan, and he will grant it to you on Christmas Eve. But make sure to leave some food for him. The thought of Santa granting wishes got Marmadou excited. But Santa doesn't know where I live, said Marmadou, worried. How will he find me? Oh, don't you worry, said Miss Brennan. He knows where every child in the world lives. He'll find you all right. Marmadou was pleased to hear that. I hope Santa can grant all my wishes, he said. Oh, I'm sure he can, said Miss Brennan. That night, Mamadou stayed up late and wrote Santa a letter asking for three wishes. Then first thing in the morning, he took his letter to the post office and posted it off to Santa. In Santa's grotto at the North Pole, the chief elf was busy with the Christmas letters. Mamadou's letter arrived just in time, but the elf was shocked when he read the letter. Mamadou was not on the list. He checked the nice and the naughty lists. How could that be possible, he thought. When the news of Marmaduke's letter reached Santa, he was furious with his elves. Ho, 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 shouted Santa. I want him on the list now. Immediately, Santa's chief elf added Marmaduke's name to the nice list. On Christmas Eve, Santa's workshop was in chaos. The elves wrapped the presents and put them into Santa's bag. 
Back on the farm, Mamadou prepared a bowl of rice akara and some ginger beer for Santa. He waited and waited for Santa to come, but Santa didn't come. Mamadou thought maybe Santa didn't receive his letter, and so he went to bed sad. A little while later, there was a flash of light and a loud rumble outside Mamadou's bedroom window. Ho, ho, ho! shouted Santa, swooping down from the sky. The crashing of hooves rocked Mamadou's hut as Santa landed his sleigh on the rooftop. Santa had a gift for everyone, which was Mamadou's first wish. Then in a cloud of glitter, Santa and his sleigh took off into the night sky. Ho, ho, ho! And a Merry Christmas to all, he said. The noise woke Mamadou up. He got out of bed and rushed to his window. Thank you, Santa, he shouted and waved. As he looked up, he noticed some white flakes float down from the sky. Snowflakes, he screamed, excited. It's snowing in Africa. Mamadou's second wish for snow to fall on Christmas Day had also come true. In the morning, there was a mountain of snow outside Mamadou's hut. He was excited and wanted to play in it. Mamadou rushed outside, but it was cold. So he put on another layer of clothes to keep him warm. Mamadou made a snowman and threw snowballs too. In the kitchen, Santa had laid out Christmas dinner ready for the family to eat. Mamadou was delighted that Santa had also answered his third wish, which was to have more food for Christmas, but also for his special present from Santa. Even though Mamadou had not asked for a gift for himself, Santa got him a toy aeroplane. Mamadou had the best Christmas day ever. The End you were listening to Marmaduke's Christmas Wish, written and read by Patricia Clarkson.